Avi Shlaim is a prominent historian and scholar known for his extensive work on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He was born in Iraq in 1945, moved to Israel at a young age, and later became a British citizen. Shlaim's perspectives on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict are influenced by his academic research and his critical stance on certain aspects of Israeli government policies and actions. Some key points from Avi Shlaim's views on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict include Revisionist historiography, Shlaim is associated with the New Historians movement, which emerged in the 1980s and challenged traditional Israeli historical narratives. He argued that revisiting historical documents and sources revealed a more complex and nuanced view of the conflict, including the expulsion of Palestinians during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Critique of Israeli Policies Shlaim has been critical of various Israeli government policies, particularly those related to the occupation of Palestinian territories. He has argued that Israel's expansion of settlements in the West Bank and Gaza Strip is a major obstacle to peace and a violation of international law. Two-state solution, Shlaim has advocated for a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, in which Israel and a Palestinian state would coexist side by side. He believes that this is the most viable path to resolving the conflict and achieving peace. Support for negotiations, Schleim has consistently supported the idea that negotiations and diplomacy are the best means of resolving the conflict. He has criticized military actions and the use of force as counterproductive. Academic and scholarly contributions, Schleim's books, such as The Iron Wall, Israel and the Arab World and Collusion Across the Jordan, King Abdullah, The Zionist Movement, and the partition of Palestine, have had a significant impact on the study of the Middle East and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. One notable point of contention between Chomsky and Shlaim has been their perspectives on the 1967 Six-Day War and its consequences. Noam Chomsky's view, Chomsky has been highly critical of Israeli government policies and actions, particularly in the context of the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip that followed the 1967 war. He has argued that Israel's expansion of settlements and its military control over these territories are illegal and detrimental to the peace process. Chomsky has been a vocal advocate for a two-state solution and has accused Israel of obstructing such a solution. Avi Shlaim's view, Shlaim's views have been more nuanced. While he has been critical of Israeli policies in the occupied territories, he has also argued that Israel was initially willing to exchange land for peace following the 1967 war. However, he contends that over time, Israel's expansion of settlements and its actions have undermined the prospects for peace. Shlaim has also emphasized the role of international diplomacy and negotiations in resolving the conflict. It's important to recognize that both Chomsky and Shlaim share common ground in their support for a two-state solution and their criticism of some Israeli government policies. However, their differing emphasis on specific historical events and the extent of their critiques have led to variations in their views. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is a complex and multifaceted issue, and even within the scholarly community, there are varying interpretations and opinions about its causes and potential solutions.